Hi there, Tori Kisiki here again from QuantumQuas.com and today I'm going to talk about something called Inside Spiral Dynamics. So, um, if you haven't seen my work before, I would suggest you go back and look at the original video which is called Spiral Dynamics, which was about 10 or 12 minutes. Uh, just a little insight about Spiral Dynamics. It used to be a, a six month program, it got down to a, a two week program when I watched it and I created a sort of like 12, 14 minute video of it. Um, but what's really significant about it, and I'm going to try to give you a 30 second version of it, is back in the 1970s, Claire, uh, Dr. Claire Graves came up with a concept or an idea or a theory which has been proven out many times over and has been used in the entire psychological uh, movement, is that we go through a process in our lives from the time we were born, when we start and the time that we end, as we move, we migrate through various stages of our lives. So in a basic spiral dynamics sort of uh, layout, you, you're born as a child, you don't have really many, you know, many needs, many issues, then we move on to a point where we get to be like mommy and me, so it's like there's two of us. And then we grow up into a, an area where we get there's more people involved in our lives and it becomes sort of like a tribe, tribal sort of situation, that's level three. And then we move to level four where the tribe no longer uh, you know, takes care of us anymore. We need to have rules in our lives because tribal is sort of like crazy, right? And then we go to level five, and level five is, well, you know, the rules are working, but I sort of want more in my life. I want to be sort of an entrepreneur. And then as we progress through our lives, even further beyond that, we like, well, you know, the entrepreneur thing is working for me, but you know what? I sort of want to give back. I want to give back to society, you know, like the Greenpeace thing. You know, I want to, I want to, I want to donate my time, my money, and my knowledge. Now that gets old after a while, and we're like, you know what? You know, I've been the entrepreneur, and I've been the, the the person who gives away my time. What if there was a way that I can like have both at the same time? We could call call that a level seven, and a level seven is an individual who finds a way that they're giving. They're giving to society at the same time they're making something for themselves. And finally, there's like the gods to sight, you know, the god sent there, sort of like we reach the final the final point, you know, where it's just all about love and it's about peace and it's about, you know, um etc. Except that the funny thing is that Claire Graves only talked about eight levels of a consciousness and um, she did say that there was probably 16 or 24 or 32 and the reality is that the human mind, because we don't know what we don't know, um, pretty much caps us off at death where we move on to that spiritual, spiritual stage in our lives and we don't know anything more than that. So that's the 30 or 45 second version of, of uh, spiral dynamics. But what I want to talk about today is inside spiral dynamics because when I, you know, my original video, and again, I'd like you to go back and watch it. What's really important is we didn't talk about going from one level of the spiral to the other and how that happens. So I have another board here. I'm going to pop it up, but I think I'm going to end up and making this a two or three part video only because it's just going to be kind of choppy for you and sort of long. So um, for illustrations, I want to take a look at the areas where we go from a level one to a level two to a level three to a level four. So I'm going to call that growth cycles inside spiral dynamics. And what does that mean specifically? Well, as we go through our life, it's just not so smooth where we're just going from, you know, a level one, which is being a child, into level two, which is sort of mommy and me, to level three, which is, you know, otherwise, if life that was that simple, everything would be straight up arrow. And as you know, as probably as well as I do, life's not always a straight up arrow. Sometimes it's a straight down arrow. Or, if it's not a straight, straight up and down arrow, it's sort of like a cycle, right? And pretty much all of life is pretty much of a cycle. So I want to talk about the cycles specifically, and I want to focus in on the actual growth processes that exist between levels, because from a spiral standpoint, and I didn't cover any of this in my original Spiral Dynamics video, 
this is the critical part. This is the part that really, really matters. So, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just erase this if you don't mind. I'm not gonna cut to another segment. I just wanna illustrate this for you. Because I think it's important that we don't look at this as multiple parts. We look at it as one, one piece. So, as I showed you earlier, as we go from one area of our life or one segment of our life and as we progress through you know levels one through eight or you know potentially one through 900 depending maybe you know an alien level 27 whatever but as we progress through the spiral all right it becomes a point where we have to make a jump and we have to make a jump because as we go through the spiral, something has to change. So we reach a point where we, we reach a dip and a valley and an NLP, let's call it a tick. And that's where the major growth happens in our lives. Where the tick occurs is, is where we really have to reach down deep and it's where we really find our new higher self. And unless we go through that process, it becomes impossible to grow. Let's focus now specifically on the tick. So I don't know how many of you have ever been here in your life where well, life's been going along and things have been working out pretty well but you want something more. You want to get to another level. You want, you, you want to achieve more in your life than you've achieved up to this point. But you don't know where to go. Because this seems like there's a chasm or a problem or a situation that exists between you and where you'd ultimately like to be. And how often in times do we end up dropping down and many of us would call that hitting bottom. And hitting bottom for many of us is really sort of almost a gift in disguise because what happens when you, you go down, some of us have the luxury of bouncing back up. And I don't want to talk about bouncing down and bouncing back up. What I'd rather really talk about is how do we grow? How do we grow through the spiral? How do we grow through our lives? So an individual reaches a plateau or a place in their life, and I'm gonna give you an imaginary line, it's a dotted line and a cross. But for argument's sake, if you end up going down into the chasm, as you come back up, and we'll, we'll call them percentages, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%. It feels good when you have to hit bottom and you start to grow back up out of the bottom. It feels good. But what happens at the end of the day? You end up exactly where you were before. So from a spiral, from a spiral dynamics perspective, if you look at the growth being going up levels and levels and levels, there has been no growth at all. All you, all you have managed to do is fall off the spiral and then get back on again. So if you can fall off, fall off the spiral, get back on, fall off the spiral, get back on, but there's no real growth. So today, why I'm talking about inside spiral dynamics is I want to teach you some simple techniques. And they may not be so simple initially, but they will be simple after you practice them and start utilizing in, in your life to see how we can get from a point in our lives where we happen to be now to a point in our lives where we want to be. Now there are multiple ways to do it. Most of us end up falling into the chasm and that's okay because falling into the chasm creates, if you get, anybody plays basketball, you bounce. So bouncing off will maybe bring you this far, this far, this far up, and it always feels good. The balance feels good because you hit the bottom, 
you know, part of my friends think suck, but you end up coming back up a certain way, a certain point. And a lot of us, when we reach here, we think we're good again. But the reality is, is we want to grow, we want to go beyond. So how do we go beyond? That's when you take a look, a deep look at your life, and you want to say that I went 50% down, I came 50% back, and I'm back, I'm back to the same place I was in, in, in the first place. So let's talk real quickly about cycles, because I would challenge anybody who's listening to this video right now to tell me that anything that's not part of a cycle. Winter, summer, Fall, spring, universe, Halley's Comet comes around every almost, I think, 79, 80 years. There is nothing in the world that does not have a cycle, including you and me and everything else. So what does a cycle look like? Well, let's say that you're on a spiral and you're living your life and you have your up moments and your down moments, your up moments and your down moments, up moments and your down moments. This would be a typical cycle of an individual who's not really getting any growth. They're having equal ups and equal downs. Let me give you an example of another type of spiral where an individual is having really high ups and really high downs, really high ups and really high downs. Any of you that uh, are familiar with deep depression or bipolar syndrome, this is exactly what it looks like, high ups and high downs. So. Neither one of these two identify any real growth in our lives. Let's show you another spiral, and I'd like you to look at this one in particular and tell me what it means to you. Individual has some pretty high ups and some small downs, and pretty high ups and small downs, and pretty high ups, small downs. This is a person that's making more progress in their lives. You know, and if you're familiar with what that looks like, or if you experience that in your life, you know what that means. By now, you're probably getting a feeling for what I'm what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to give you another type of spiral. The individual has somewhat of an up, and they have pretty significant downtime. Another up, and pretty significant downtime, and another up. Okay, so you can see now that I could probably spend the rest of the afternoon showing you different cycles. None of which are going to help you growing because in order to get from here to here, you have to make significant, let's see, this is the baseline of the spiral of the of their timeline, right? So all the spirals that we were talking about, these cycles, they look like this, or they look like this, or the short. Whatever the form happens to be, none of them get you here. So how do we grow through the cycles? How do we grow through Claire Graves of cycles, which she called in 1970, spiral dynamics? But we can just call it growth, self-growth, self-improvement, um, getting to a better place in your life. A lot of them have, a lot of it has to do with a plan. Most of us don't have a plan. A lot of us fall down into the hole. We ended up climbing back up. We bounce back up, unfortunately, sometimes. And we end up at the same exact place when we start. Problem is that most of us, when we grow up, we're not given a plan. We don't have a mentor. We don't have somebody to example. Uh, we don't have a parent or a father or a mother. Uh, sibling, aunt, uncle that can show us. Read books, but read, you know, reading books are great because they give you an example of somebody else, what somebody else did. Unless you actually experience it yourself, you don't really know what that means. So I want to talk today about, uh, specifically, I want to talk about drivers. And what drivers are, are drivers are what allows you to go from your position A and end up in being in position B, which means you've gone nowhere, to get to position C, which is a significant amount of growth over where you are in your life. Right? So in order to have a driver, instead of what I call drifting in life, sort of like a jellyfish where we're just 
the ocean is just taking you from here to there and where you ha wherever you happen to end up is where you end up and and you know you, it's not that you don't care but you're making movement you think you're making progress and and you're going through your life except that your life is going by you're 10 years old 20 years old 30 years old 40 50 years old the next thing you know uh, god forbid you're 75 85 years old and you're in a nursing home and you're still drifting and you never really achieve the things you want in your life because nobody ever told you about the drivers about creating things like plan intent desire utilizing physiology utilizing psychology use like utilizing commitment utilizing emotional control now I'm talking about you know my program right now, quantumquest.com, which is a multiple hour program. We go into a lot of processes. So I'm, I'm throwing a lot of words at you right now. But what I want you to realize is that instead of just drifting along like a jellyfish, and if you've ever done that, because I've done it for a long time, I, to be honest with you, I've done it for about 15 years of my life, and drifting like a jellyfish really didn't work for me very well. So when you start introducing what I call drivers or emotional control in your life, you find that you're able to get beyond the AB. And this is what I mean by saying getting inside of spiral dynamics where you learn how to specifically grow from one level to the other to the other and so on. And so much of this happens to be with thought processes. So when we have thoughts, many of us are not really taught in a, you know, in a way or a matter and how to think positively. So, you know, we, we think the way we think. You know, you grow up in a, in a life and environment where you're told that you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not strong enough, you're not fast enough, you're not this, you're not that. So we end up with an ego and a conscious or some unconscious mind that believes that most of the, st the stuff in our life is, is, should be problematic, right? So we, we accept that as part of a belief system and we don't have, or we don't have a mentor or somebody to teach us Sorry for the glitch in the video, but we're going to continue from here. So talking about thought processes, which are critical for getting from A to C, I just want to go over with that with you really quick. And it's really, it's really comes down to the core, some of the core content of a quantum quest. So one of the primary things we teach in quantumquest.com is, is how, to, how to break away from the, 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 the unconsciousness behavior that we live through in our lives that are based on what we were taught primarily by the time we're five years old when our unconscious mind is being developed, which, which we call in our imprinting stage, which if you've listened to some of some my work before, uh, you realize that uh, most everything that we do um, oftentimes relates back to our childhood. And that's why so often um, psychotherapists or you, <laughs> Google the list of type of therapists that are out there today will always go back to childhood. For the most part, we'll go back to childhood because we are running a unconscious program based on, I mean, call it, lack of words, crap we learned before we were old enough to understand what we knew. So how do we develop a new a thought process, which we, we never really had one before, right? Well, well, back to the tick again. And we know our goal, right, as we're, we're traveling around our spiral is in, in order to grow from level one to eight or up to level 32, which is, you know, human mind only knows what it knows, right? So once we go beyond what we understand, we, we, it ends. So we, from Claire Graves' model, she believes it goes on, the spiral goes on infinitely. But we know that the highest level right now that we understand is level A, which is, which is uh, you know, 
uh, spiritual, highest level spirituality, the godlike, you know, becoming godlike. But for all intents and purposes, for this program, all we want to do is we want to get from A to C, and by all means, we want to bypass B because B means that we might have fallen down a hole, fallen down a hole, bounced back up, or climbed back up thinking we made progress where all we ended up doing is putting ourselves back on the same spiral that we were without any growth. So what happens between A and B and C is where the real growth occurs. And this is what I'm gonna talk about as the process. So I already pre-prepared a board for you guys. And I wanna talk about the principles the process to go from A to C, which is real, where real growth occurs. And when we can achieve that growth faster in our lives without falling down the hole and climbing back up to B, or let's just show you. I don't know how many times you've fallen down the hole and gotten back to B and thought you made progress, but I've done it couple hundred times and most of my clients have done it a couple hundred times and I'll tell you when you fall down and you climb back up it feels good it feels like you're making progress and if we get a little bit above that it even feels greater but the reality is we didn't go anywhere all we do is we go through a process of falling down and standing back up and, and anybody that's listening to this program who can walk knows that when you go through childhood, we fall down and we get up how many times? Did we make any progress? No, we actually didn't learn how to walk until we, we mastered it. And once we mastered walking, now we're able to move up to the level which might be walking faster, uh, potentially jogging, maybe sprinting, maybe becoming a world-class athlete. But let's talk for a minute about how to really go and make progress in a life and go from B to C, okay? Because B to C is where we want to go. So it's a thought process. So the process to go from A to C, or technically really from B to C, is which is where the real growth happens. Because if you can avoid falling down the hole, I'd rather do that, right? Is our thoughts. What type of thoughts are we having as we're growing, as we're trying to reach a new level in our life? In other words, you, you know, we, we are here right now and we want to go there. And, 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 and what there is for you is, is going to be different for me, it's going to be different for everybody else. But what are the sort of thought, thoughts that we're having about going from A to C? Are they thoughts? based on positive or negative? Are we, are we fearful about what might happen if we make a mistake? Are we positive about the outcome? Are we positive about how we may feel when we finally reach C? Or are we fearful, in many cases, about what that actually might mean? So the thoughts, and I would take notes, I'll stop the video and take notes, because this is critical. The thoughts have to be positive. Because there's, there's enough negative thoughts out there. Make yourself a list. Could be a hundred items in that list. But list yourself out. One, two, three, four, five positive reasons why you want to reach C. Now, our thoughts often lead to emotions, how we feel. So if we're having a positive thought and we're inspired and we're feeling like, wow, you know, these things that I'm going to do are going to change my life in a, in a different way. And when we get to that point in our life, I'm going to be emotionally happy. I'm going to be emotionally inspired. I'm going to be emotionally driven. I'm going to be emotionally in a state that makes me inspired to go on. Are the thoughts based in fear or in love? Because as you're having an emotion, think about those emotions. Is it fear-based or is it love-based? Because if it's love-based, it's a positive emotion and it continues moving you forward. And all of these things are the ticks that allow us to climb the ladder from B to C. Because it's like a stairway. You know, forget about the bounce back. 
When we go from A to B, we want to get to C. So there's a level of steps. So we start with our thoughts. Are they positive or negative? If they're negative, just write down what's positive and focus on the positive. What type of emotions are they creating? Are the emotions based in fear or they are based in love? If they're based in love, write down, write a list down what they're, what they're based on. Now, the decisions that we make based on the thoughts and the emotions could be fear-based or based in confidence. Now, have you ever made a thought or decision in your life based on fear? Was that decision a strong decision? Or was it a weak decision? Did that decision give you energy to push you and drive you? Or was it almost like a sad, sick feeling like if I do it, you know, you don't know what the outcome is. Or was it a strong, confident decision where you felt like if I do this, it's going to be inspiring, it's going to be great. So write down a list of the decisions you're going to make and whether or not they're fear-based or a confident-based and cross out all the fear-based decisions. Now, it brings you to the actions. The actions that you take, the actions that you take based on your thoughts, your positive thoughts, based on your love-based emotions, based on your confident decisions, what type of actions you're going to create from that? Are they going to be weak or are they going to be strong? You tell me. If you have positive thoughts, if you have love-based emotions, if you have confident decisions, do you believe that your actions are going to be weak or strong? I don't think I need to answer that for you, but if I do, maybe you need to go back to the beginning of the video and start over again because they're clearly going to be strong actions. And strong actions lead to higher outcomes or lower outcomes. And this is where we start talking about in Quantum Quest, is what we talk about is a higher and lower self. When, you're, when your actions are based on your higher self's decisions, when your actions are based on your higher self's thoughts, higher self's emotions, higher self decisions, higher self actions, you end up with higher self outcomes. You end up with higher self outcomes going from A to C is really a joke. You'll go from A to C over and over and over again. And maybe you'll be the one that proves uh, Claire Graves' uh, spiral dynamics goes way beyond eight. Because we don't know what we don't know yet. So right now, spirituality or God consciousness, we consider to be number eight. But Claire says we can go probably 32, even 64, even more. So the faster you're able to move up that spiral, based on higher consciousness decisions, based on positive thoughts, based on emotions based on love, based on decisions that are made the confident versus fear, based on the strong actions which, which give you higher outcomes, or what changes your life. And it took me quite a long time to come to this realization and I spent time with probably two to three thousand clients before I started to see the result because many people they rather think in a negative. They rather think in, in fear based. They rather have, make decisions based, weak decisions based on fear, weak actions based on fear, and have lower outcomes because they think they deserve that. So if you think you deserve that, then that's what you're going to get. But if you think you're entitled to a better life, if you think you're entitled to be able to move past and to achieve the things that you want in your life, to make the decisions based on the list of the process. So come visit me at quantumquest.com. There's more information for, the, for you there. Um, you can email me questions. I'll be happy to answer you. Thank you for listening. I know this was like a ridiculously long video, but I enjoyed talking. I hope you enjoyed listening. And I'll see you again soon.